वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम नाइन डैश ट्वेंटी फोर सो स्टेटमेंट इज द वुडन बीम इज सब्जेक्ट टू अ लोड ऑफ ट्वेल्व किलो न्यूटन डिटरमाइन द प्रिंसिपल स्ट्रेस एट पॉइंट ए एंड स्पेसिफाई द ओरिएंटेशन ऑफ एलिमेंट सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द बीम जस्ट लाइक गिवन इन एग्जाम प्रॉब्लम नाइन डैश ट्वेंटी थ्री देर इज अ लोड ऑफ ट्वेल्व किलो न्यूटन एंड दिस ग्रेन ऑफ दिस वुड्स आर ओरिएंटेड एट ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्री फ्रॉम दिस हॉरिजेंटल सो नाउ हेयर यू हैव टू फाइंड द principal stress at point a which is sigma 1 and sigma 2 and then you have to specify the orientation of the uh, of these principal stresses on the element so let let's start with the solution so you can see from problem 9 dash 23 which i have discussed we have found the normal stress sigma x which is 2.2857 mega pascal there is no Uh, uh normal stress in y direction and shearing stress is minus 0.1286 and that is represented as general state of stress at point a so those who do not know how i calculated this so i will uh, recommend you to go to problem 9-23 and watch this i will also explain over here so uh, for uh normal st stress and shear stress at point a first of all we will find the reaction force if we remove this support so this are r1 and r2 so by using equation of equilibrium you can see you will get r2 and r1 once you find r2 and r1 so what we will do is that we will cut the beam at a distance of 2 meter from this side so in order to find the normal uh, stress and bending stress and sharing stress so what if you cut it it will like this so from here you will get the movement at point a will be this one and shear force at this one after that you we will find the uh, bending stress at point a which is given by this equation i for this rectangular beam is calculated over here y a is distance from neutral axis till the point where this uh, point a lies so it is at a distance of minus 75 mm which is minus 0.075 m so you have ma you have ya you have i you can put the value so you will get this sigma a which is positive value so it shows that this uh, stress is tension tensile stress after that we will find the shearing stress so shearing stress is represented by this formula we have v we have i we have thickness t which is this one we do not have qa so we will find qa by using this equation which is y dash into a so a is this area a dash is this area clear this area is 200 multiplied by 75 so 200 is 0.2 meter and 75 is 0.075 and what is y dash so y dash distance from neutral axis till the mid of this section and this distance is 0.1125 meter so you will get qa now you have all the values you can just put it in this formula so you will get sharing stress is 0.1286 mega pascal since this shear stress lies below the uh, neutral axis so it will be considered as negative so you have sigma x will be this there is no y x uh, normal stress in y direction and shearing stress is this and this is represented in this state of stress which i have already discussed over here now we will move and we will find the principal stresses so for principal stresses we know the formula that is sigma 1 comma 2 will be equal to sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 plus minus square root of sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 whole square plus tau of xy whole square clear so you have the values shown over here sigma x sigma y and tau of xy so you can just put the value sigma 1 comma 2 will be equal to 2.2857 plus 0 divide by 2 plus minus that will be 2.2857 divide by 2 minus 0 whole square plus minus 0.1286 whole square so from here you will get 1.147 plus minus 
this value will be 1.1492 and this will be sigma 1 comma 2 so sigma 1 will be equal to 1.147 plus 1.1492 and that will be equal to 2.29 mega pascal and sigma 2 will be equal to 1.147 minus 1.1492 and that will be equal to minus 0.0072 mega pascal so if we convert it into kilo pascal it will be minus 7.21 kilo pascal so these are the principal stresses sigma 1 and sigma 2 now we'll find the orientation uh, which is called orientation by orientation means the theta angle for which this plane stresses are uh, this principal stresses lies so we'll find this theta p and we know that uh, um, for finding the principal plane of principal stresses we have the formula tangent of 2 theta p is equal to tau of x y divided by sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 clear so you can just put the value minus 0 0.1286 divided by sigma x is 2.2857 minus 0 divided by 2 so theta p will be equal to theta p will be equal to 10 inverse of minus 0 0.1286 divided by 2.2857 minus 0 divided by 2 so when you calculate it you will get 2 theta p will be equal to minus 6.42 degree and theta p will be equal to minus 3.21 degree now you have this one theta p so you can just put it in this uh, since we have two principal stress sigma 1 and sigma 2 so we do not know uh, on which face it will lie so what we will do is that we have the we will confirm it by using transformation equation of transformation so that is sigma x is sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 plus sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 into cos of 2 theta plus tau of x y sine of 2 theta. So you can just put here 2 theta as 6.42 degree. Sigma x is also there. So sigma x is 2.2857 plus 0 divided by 2 plus 2.2857 minus 0 divided by 2 into cos of 6.42 degree this is minus plus tau of xy so minus 0 0.1285 into sine of minus 6.42 degree so when you calculate it you will get sigma x dash will be equal to 2.29 mega pascal so this means that it this sigma x will lie on this face so now we will define the orientation this was initial state of stress this is your x axis this is your y axis clear and principal stress lies at 3 degree minus 3 minus means clockwise direction so your new x dash will be here this is 3.21 degree and your similarly your y dash will also change will rotate with the same theta p clear and what will be the your new state of stress so it will be like this this should be straight okay now we will plot sigma x dash sigma 1 dash so it will be on this surface let me make it perfect 
so if I draw it like this axis should be perpendicular to this surface let me choose another color okay so your your normal stress sigma 1 will be in this direction sigma 1 principal stress make sure that it should be perpendicular to this surface and your sigma 2 which is uh, minus 7 point so it will be like this it will be compressive one this is your sigma 2 which is minus 0 point which is minus 7.21 kPa while sigma 1 is sigma 1 is 2.29 megapascal so if i draw it over here so it will be like this one clear so this will be your new x dash this will be your new y dash so initially the x dash x was this and y was this this is y dash so this is sigma 1 in this direction and this is sigma 2 which is negative so it means it is in compression so this is the theta angle theta p is minus 6 point no sorry 3 point one degree and this t this is theta p2 this angle is theta p2 i will also explain it this is theta p2 so we know that uh, uh, 2 theta p is equal to 180 degree plus uh, t 2p sorry we know that 2 theta p is equal to 180 degree plus this 2 theta p2 is equal to 2 theta p1 or you can see theta p2 is equal to 90 degree plus theta p1 so 90 theta p1 is minus 3.2 one degree so it will be some 96 and 86 point something so this is theta p2 which is 90 degree minus 3.21 degree and that was all about this problem 9-24 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video. If you have any question, you can uh, you can ask me in comment section. Also, the problems of stress transformations from the book uh, of Mechanics of Material by Bear and Johnson's are also available on my channel, including its theory lectures in detail. So you can visit and you can watch and understand the uh, principle of stress transformation thank you for watching